Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanna to show you how to install the Citron emulator and how to add cheats and mods to your games. I've already made a video about installing Eden, so if you're interested, go check that one out too. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you won't miss any new updates. Our community's been growing super fast. On Discord, we've already hit over a thousand members in just four days. It's turning into an awesome place and I seriously can't thank you enough for all the support. You guys are amazing, and I'll keep helping you and answering your questions as always. All right, let's jump into it. First, you'll need to download Citron. All the download links are on my Discord server. The invite link's in the description or in my YouTube bio. You'll also find all the files you need there. Once you've got everything downloaded, extract the emulator and run citron.exe. The first time you open it, you'll probably see a message saying encryption keys are missing. Don't worry, just click OK. Then it'll ask if you want to share your usage data with the developers to help improve Citron. I'll just click No for now. Next, go to File, then Open Citron Folder. Open the folder called Keys and drop the two files named prod.keys and title.keys inside. Without these, Citron won't detect your games, so make sure they're in the right place. After that, close and reopen Citron so it can load them properly. Now go to Tools, then Install Firmware. Unlike some other emulators, Citron installs firmware from a folder instead of a zip or RAR file. So make sure you extract it first, then select the folder named Firmware 20.5.0. Citron will install it automatically. If you still don't see your games, don't worry, that's normal. Just double-click the folder with the green cross icon in the middle of the window and pick the folder where your games are stored. Once you confirm, your games will show up. To install an update, go to File, click Install File to NAND and select your update file. Alright, time to configure Citron so it runs perfectly. Go to Emulation, then Configure. In the General tab, you don't need to touch anything. In UI, you can change how the emulator looks if you want. In System, you can set your region, time, and DRAM amount. Under CPU, leave accuracy on Auto. If your FPS is low, you can try Unsafe for better performance, but it might cause some instability. Now for the graphics settings. This is important. I recommend using Vulkan as your API, especially if you've got a modern GPU. If you notice lag or graphical glitches, try OpenGL, but Vulkan usually works better. I like setting the resolution to 2x and turning on FSR at 50%. That gives you a sharper image without losing performance. In advanced graphics, leave the accuracy level on high. If your game lags or glitches, try switching it to normal, but high usually gives you the best compatibility. For smoother gameplay, disable sync to frame rate of video playback and enable everything else. Especially, use asynchronous shader building. That one really helps reduce stutter. Soon I'll also make a tutorial showing you how to play online using Citron and Eden. In the meantime, if you want to learn how to play online with Ryujinx, there's already a full guide on my channel. Anyway, setting up your controller is super easy. Go to Input, click where it says Any, and select your controller. Citron should detect it automatically, and you can test your buttons and sticks in the preview window. Once everything works, click Apply and then OK, and you're good to go. Now, about mods and cheats, it's really simple. You can find all the cheat files on my Discord. Links are in the description and in my bio. Once you've got them, right-click your game and choose Open Mod Data Location. That's where you'll place your mods and cheats. Don't create a new cheats folder manually. Each cheat comes with its own folder, and that's exactly how it should stay. If you move them somewhere else, they won't work. After that, right-click your game again, go to Properties, and enable the cheats you want. Make sure Update 1.01 is turned on, otherwise the cheats won't activate. Then just start your game and have fun! That's it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or join my Discord. I'm always there to help. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.